Hey, how's it going? It's Ollie here. So today I'm talking to you uh, from my apartment here in Stockholm and wanted to discuss something really important. Okay, got a new mission which I've actually started to become obsessed with over the past few weeks. Something I actually can't stop thinking about and that's why I wanted to, rather than delivering like, you know, a how-to video on the YouTube channel, I wanted to focus on this today. So, by the way, uh, I don't know if you've even seen this room before, but this is my apartment in Stockholm. Um, uh, it's what, the bedroom. And we're literally opposite, uh, I don't know if you can see down there, Orleans, which is like the big uh, department store here in Stockholm, right? So you've got... What is it, Selfridges in London? Uh, I guess it's kind of the equivalent uh, of Selfridges. Yeah, so I'm, I'm loving living here because it's just so central. And we just walk across the road, pretty much everything you need is there, right? That's ideal for me. And actually, for me, location is way, way more important than size. I'd much rather have a smaller place in a great location rather than a huge place in the middle of nowhere because I'm lazy and I don't want to travel. Um, but anyway, this kind of ties into what I'm going to be talking about today, which is having the ability to, to live where you want and have these options. So what is my mission? Why am I making this video? Well, my mission is to make you 100% self-reliant. This is my mission. This is what I want to do. If you're watching this video right now, I want to help you become 100% self-reliant. So today I'm going to talk about what that means, right? What does it mean to become self-reliant? How do you know when you are self-reliant? And why would you have that as a main aim and focus and goal in your life? Now, I do apologize if the lighting is all over the place. Right now we're using an iPhone and direct sunlight, so... If it goes in and out, that's why. But uh, yeah, the uh, content is much more important than the uh, the visuals today. Okay, so this is super, super key. So what does self-reliant mean? What does being self-reliant mean? Well, most people, if you're watching this video right now, most people are in your situation, which means that your livelihood, right, your ability to live under a roof, to eat, to go out, to have money, you know, all these things, basic human needs, they're all tied down to somebody else's performance in life. Right? They're tied down to somebody else's performance. In fact, you don't have too much control over where your money comes from. So traditionally, this will either be uh, from the perspective of um, being in a job, right? So that's, you know, you're reliant on the company being able to keep this p position and keep paying you and have enough profits to be able to actually pay you. Another example might be if you're a, like a contract worker, like a freelancer and you do contracts with companies, you're relying on those companies needing and being able to afford contractors, right? So you are not self-reliant if you're in one of those situations because the minute whoever pays you stops being able to pay you, everything falls apart. The money stops, the tap is turned off, and it's like a, it's, it changes everything. So what I wanna help you do is go from that as relying on other people for your livelihood to being self-reliant and taking ownership of your own livelihood and having the whole thing be under your control. So why is this my mission? Why is this so important? And why do I want you to aim to be self-reliant as well? Well, right now, we all know that the economy is going through a lot of turbulence, right? And we're in a recession, right? We're in a recession. Now, last time I checked, uh, apparently, uh, spending and the money circulating 
the economy, has gone down by 20% in most countries. All right, so the amount of money people are spending, the amount of revenue companies are making, on average, has been reduced by 20%. Now, we all know why this is happening, right? There's been huge uh, economic, um, global um, uh, events happening this year, which have affected everything. So many industries have suffered from this. So many people have suffered. And now what we're experiencing is the after effects of this big shift, right? So this means that people are spending less, people are earning less, and the economy is changing. So as you know, like if you're relying on somebody else to pay for your food and for your rent and for all your other bills, the chances are they're not going to, you know, be able to do that much longer. Like the chances are things are going to change at some point and depending on what in industry you're in, depending on what company you work for, there's a good chance a lot of people are going to lose their jobs right over the next two, maybe three, four years. So needless to say, being self-reliant and being able to take control over your own earnings right now is more important than it's ever been, right? At least since the last recession, and who knows what this one's going to be like. It could be worse. I guess we'll just have to see. Right? So why is this important? And if you do have your own business, why are you in a much better position than if you're not being self-reliant? Well, here's the thing. Right? If you're self-reliant, if you run your own company, if you're an entrepreneur, when you experience an economic shift, really all that's happening is now you have a numbers problem to deal with, right? Rather than having a, I'm going to lose my entire job, all the money is going to be taken away from me, you have a numbers game problem, right? So for example, if your business was going to be earning £100,000 this year and the economy uh, is reduced by 20%, for example, now you might only, only earn 80k this year with the same amount of marketing with the same amount of uh, offers made and everything else all being equal right you might earn 20 percent less so while this is actually a big impact right for any business especially if you have relatively tight margins it's not a complete cut off which would be the same as losing a job right if you lost your job then all of a sudden everything changes right because now you've gone from having whatever 3 4k a month coming in to zero which is like a massive change and obviously very 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 stressful but if you run your own company going from 80 or 100k to 80k a year while it could be pretty drastic you still have a lot of options you still have a lot of options now, me personally, going through this recession with the incomes I have, um, to tell you the truth, in a way, I'm kind of excited about it. I know that might sound really weird, but it's the truth. Because I'm self-reliant and the money I earn comes from my own companies, right? Now, I get a chance to prove that everything is being run very, very efficiently. And it's like the ultimate test. If you're going to be getting more sales than before, you better be running an efficient business. You better not have too many expenses. You better have decent profit margins. Right? It's almost like a test for me. So this pushes me to become a more skilled business owner. This is pushes me to... Uh, become better at what I do, and I guarantee in two or three years' time my business is going to quadruple because of the strain, because I've tightened everything up, and because I've been so motivated to grow. So being self-reliant can actually give you much bigger opportunities during a time like this, and that will never happen if you have a job, right? Unless you're very lucky to be in an industry which is booming at the moment, right? So th this is why I, I want so many people to, to jump on this uh, mission and become self-reliant because it just opens up so many doors 
for you. Like it just feels so incredible to know that you are in control of your own earnings. Like if you think about it, it doesn't really make sense to put all of your money under somebody else's control. Because no matter how much they claim to care about you and your livelihood, like ultimately they will never care as much about your income as they will their own business. Right? And that's quite right to be honest. Like as an, as a business owner, you should prioritize the business running stably rather than just prioritizing somebody's job. Because if it doesn't make sense to have that person in that role anymore, then you should let them go, right? Otherwise the whole business could collapse and the, the um, consequences could be way more vast. So if you're getting paid by somebody else, then it, that you will never be their priority. It's just never gonna happen, right? That's why I'm so passionate about um, becoming self-reliant. So one of the big questions is, well, how on earth do we start doing this? How do we get on this exciting journey of taking control of the wheel and actually doing this stuff yourself rather than being hired by somebody else? Like, do I have to just quit my job today? Do I have to just dive in at the deep end, sell my stuff, sell my house, start the business and just pray that it works from day one? Obviously not. Right, that's you know that's insane. That would be insane, and some people I know who have done that have actually got crazy results and done really well. But there's a lot of people who've tried that and things haven't worked out so well. As you can imagine, it's a risky thing to do. So what's the best approach then? How can you begin to be self-reliant and get to the point where if your main income was to be taken away, actually? You wouldn't really care. Well, it's simple. The answer is baby steps. Baby steps. Right? In fact, the, the best time to start a business and to start earning some income for yourself is when you have an income coming in already because you're stable, you can pay your bills, right? you've got enough money coming in. So anything you make on the side is basically extra. Like if you had an extra thousand pounds a month coming in, although that might not be you know, life-changing, it will give you a little bit of a cushion to do extra stuff, right? And you can grow that to 2K a month. You can grow that to 4K a month. And before you know it, you've got two full-time incomes coming in. And this has happened to like a lot of my clients. And before you know it, you can either keep doing that and just bring in tons of money each month, or you can say goodbye to the job and grow that second income. Right, so, I mean, the best way to start is just to break this down into milestones, right? Just break it down into milestones. And rather than trying to do everything at once, focus on the little incremental steps along the way. Like, for example, step one could be to get your first sale on Amazon. Just get your first sale. Just get one sale. Now, building like a six-figure business is kind of scary and there's a lot involved and it might seem intimidating, right? But getting one sale... Actually, the steps to do that are pretty simple. Set up an Amazon account, find a product using whatever strategy you want, get it to sell. I was speaking to someone today actually on the phone and um, they are waiting for their order, their test batch order of products to get shipped over from China and they've already made a couple of sales with arbitrage while they've been waiting for their products to arrive. And it was amazing because this proved for them that look, yes, you can make sales. You know, yes, this thing really does work. And yeah, they've made what? I don't know, 25 pounds or something in sales so far. It doesn't sound like a lot. But the significance of that is unbelievable because it's proven to them now that this stuff really works and you can actually make sales doing this stuff yourself, right? And if you can make one sale, then you can make one sale a day. If you can make one sale a day, you can make five sales a day if you can do that you can get to 10 sales a day and before you know it you have a real income coming in you just need to do more of the stuff you did to make that original sale so that's step one right just get a sale just do something to prove to yourself that this stuff is real and it works step number two would be to make it consistent to go from one sale to maybe a thousand pounds profit per month right that would be the next baby step so to go from proof of concept, like yes, I've got a sale, yes, it will work, 
to, okay, now I've got a side income. And when you get a side income, like I said, you get a little bit of um, extra certainty. You get that cushion, that extra bit of money that proves that, you know, this stuff works and you can earn for yourself. It gives you a bit more flexibility. It makes the bills a bit easier to pay. It gives you a bit more freedom. But also it gives you the chance to scale. Because right? you can take that side income and you can turn it into a full-time income and then grow and take the business to the next level. So these are the incremental steps I recommend you take. And you know what, there might be a gap in between each one. It might take you a couple months to get your first sale. It might take you a couple months to get to a thousand pounds a month profit. It might take you a couple months to get up to a full-time income or longer. But the point is I want you to get started and do something. Because the sooner you start, the sooner you'll see results and the sooner you'll get close to being self-reliant. And then you can pretty much move wherever you like. You can live wherever you want. Right? You don't have to be tied down to a job and feel that constricted feeling of being under somebody else's responsibility who may or may not be competent. And you get to completely feel empowered knowing that you are at the steering wheel. Right? So if you want to get started to do something and, and get closer to at least that first sale, there's some links in the description which will um, help you. Um, to get started right, and to know what to do first and also gives you some information about how to grow after that and one of those links uh, will get you a call with me personally Amazon Accelerator call where we can discuss your goals and actually take this stuff to the next level so if you want to get started that is one step you can do to get super clear on, on, on what you need to do to hit your goals and then you can get one step closer to becoming self-reliant. And who knows where you'll be in October 2021. All right, thanks so much for watching uh, this video. I hope it's inspired you. I hope it's given you something to focus on. I hope you'll join me in my mission. And yeah, let's start building your income.